Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from the Communication Systems book by Mr. B. P. Lati. And here we'll be discussing pulse code modulation and solving example 6.2. So this is the uh, basic diagram of pulse code modulation. And the, the first is we have the analog signal. Then this analog signal is sampled uh, into few parts and then it is quantized. I hope you have read quantization in the ADC. I'll also discuss. Basically, it is setting up the levels of bringing the signals to a few levels. And then is encoding. That means these signals are now encoded in binary, binary bits. And then finally, all these codes are transferred or the sent through the channel. So the sampling, first of all, how many samples we should make of a signal? We could have like here it is five samples, here it is two samples. Now the uh, as if we increase the number of samples, we would require more uh, information to be sent or a number of bits will increase tremendously. So we have to go for the minimum. And for minimum, <clears throat> Mr. Harry Nyquist suggested that if a signal is of one hertz, then you got to make only two samples. And so if you send these two samples at the receiver end, we can easily reconstruct a signal which is quite similar to the original signal. So we can generalize that if the bandwidth is B hertz instead of one hertz, then we will require two B samples per second. So this is hertz and this is samples per second. And this uh, information is called the Nyquist sampling frequency. Okay, now the question is, how many levels do we make for digitizing this signal? So like here we have made four levels. Here we have made eight levels. So depending on how many bits we want to use, uh, we'll determine the number of levels. So like here, if we have only two bits, like uh, so we can have four possibilities, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. That means we can make 2 raised to the power 2, four levels. So this is four levels we have made, and we can use two bits to send uh, the level information. Or the signal information. But in this case, okay, now these are the values 0, 0 assigned here, 0, 1, then 1, 0, and 1, 1. In the second case, we are using 3 bits. So for 3 bits, we can have 2 raised to the power 3, 8 levels, and these are the values of uh, various levels shown here. So this is 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 0, 1, 1. So first of all, the number of levels we can generalize that 2 raised to the power, the number of bits is will give the number of levels required. Okay, now quantization. Now this is the signal and look here carefully. This value is above 1. So it is let's say 1.5. This is slightly less than 2. This is slightly less than one. So when we quantize that, when we bring these near to the levels, then our signal will now look like this. So 1.5 or 1 point, sorry, 1 point maybe 2 has become 1. Similarly, 1.9 has become 2. Then 0.9 has also become 1. Now you can see that we are actually, we have introduced some kind of an error in digitizing because this value was 1.2, we are writing it at one. So this type of error that is introduced is called quantization error. And now that we have brought all these signals into the uh, different levels, we can send them by assigning the binary values. Little more about the quantization error. The this, these are the two limits, MP, positive and min minus MP. So this are the total, uh, let's say, voltage level. And let's say we have 16 levels. So one, one division will be 
2 m p divided by 16 or divided by l so the each subdivision interval which is we call delta v will be 2 m p divided by l and now the error again we already discussed here you can see this is slightly above this level let's call it this, uh, this one so 1.2 so what we will do here that we will take it as one so level uh, or the error is of 0.2 this one let's say it is 1.7 so we'll take this to the next level 2 so the error here is 0.3 but if the signal is in the middle what will be the error so either we can take this or we can go up so let's say this is 3.5 so either we can take 3 or we can take 4 so the error here is uh, 0.5 that is 1 by 2 so the error we can say that it is delta v by 2 this is the maximum error it could be less than this but the maximum error will be delta divided by 2 now now that we have uh, we will digitize the signal signal and then we'll know how many bits to send so first of all nyquist sampling rate we call it rn which was 2b signal of frequency b hertz sample 2b nyquist sample we are calling it rn that is nyquist rate okay now for every sample or every pulse requires n bits to digitize then in our case like here you can see we are using three bits so for every pulse now this one hertz has two pulse and every pulse will require three bits so this one is like three bits this one is three bits so how many total bits you can see from here it is six how to calculate we use this formula number of bits 3 divided by r sorry multiply by r n r n is 2 b so 2 into b is 1 hertz so this is 6 similarly in the second case uh, we have 3 hertz signal so we have 6 values so 3 uh, uh, this is the number of bits 2 into 3 hertz so this will give 18 bits and you can see these all total are 18 bits so we'll generalize this now that the number of bits per second that we can uh, we have to send is n that is the number of bits multiplied by r n that is the nyquist sampling rate and which can also be uh, written as n into 2b okay next is the channel bandwidth now it is just kind of an opposite of the nyquist the channel bandwidth says that a channel of one hertz bandwidth can transmit a maximum of two pieces or two bits of information. So two bits of information would require one hertz. And so if we want to find the total uh, bandwidth, then we have to, or the net bandwidth, we have to divide the total bits divided by two. For two, we are getting one. So for C, we'll get C divided by two. And C, we know, uh, uh, was N to B. So 2 to cancel, so it will be N B hertz. Okay, now we can summarize or we can find a strategy to solve questions. First of all, we have to find the Nyquist sampling rate. Then from the quantization error, we'll find L and N. And then we'll calculate the number of bits to be transmitted. And then we'll find the channel bandwidth. Now let's see an example. Now this example is saying that a signal band limited to three kilohertz. So this is the primary frequency of the signal. It's sampled at a rate 33% higher than the Nyquist rate. So we'll see this, what does this mean? The minimum acceptable error of the sample amplitude or that is the maximum quantization error is 0.5% of the peak. We'll also see this, what is it in the, during the question solving we have to find two things find the minimum bandwidth of the channel required and then if there are 24 such signals then what will be the bandwidth of the channel 
Well, let's see. This is the uh, procedure that will follow. So let's find the sampling uh, and accurate sampling rate. Bandwidth 3 kilohertz, that means signal frequency, we are calling it FA is 3 kilohertz or 300 hertz or 3000 hertz. So the Nyquist rate Rn is 2 into the signal frequency, so 600 hertz or 600 samples per second. Now the question is saying that actually we will not sample uh, to this value, rather we will sample it slightly higher. How much higher? 33 point, uh, over 13 percent higher than the Nyquist rate. So 33. Uh, 1, 3 percent will actually become 33.33 percent and 0 0.3333 uh, will be the value. So what we'll do, we'll multiply this by 1.333 to get the actual value. So the actual Nyquist sampling rate RA will be this 6000 multiplied by 1.33. So it will be 8000 hertz. If you have difficulty understanding this, you can actually uh, multiply this by 0 0.33, so that will give you 2000 2, hertz. So 6000 plus 2000 hertz will also give you 8000 hertz. Okay, now the uh, level we'll have to find, we'll be using these, this formula. So we, we know that uh, delta V over 2. Uh, we'll find delta V over 2 actually, that is the uh, maximum error in terms of this level. Delta V we know from here is 2 MP over L, we have found out already. So we'll substitute uh, delta V with 2 MP over L and so this will become MP over L. So this is our first equation for quantization error. Another value of quantization error is given in the question, so we'll use that also. The maximum acceptable error in the sample amplitude, that is the maximum quantization error, is 0.5% of the peak amp amplitude MP. So that means, again, the delta V over 2 is the maximum quantization error. It will be 0.5% of MP, which will be 0.5 divided by 100 of MP. So these two we can now equate, both are delta V by 2. And so equating these, we will find L. So L is 200. So that means we need to have 200 levels uh, for the signal to transmit or to encode. Now there is a problem. We cannot have uh, the 200 values. It has to be. Uh, to represent 200 levels, how many bits are required? That is the question. So, we know we, 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 uh, uh, the L has to be power of 2. We just saw 2 raised to the power n should be equal to L. So, 2 raised to the power 7 or 2 raised to the power 8 is our choice. If you take 2 raised to the power 7, it will be 128. 128 is less than 200, so that will be erroneous. It will introduce more errors. So we'll go for higher uh, levels, so higher divisions. So 2 raised to the power 8 is 256. So we'll select L to be 256. Uh, with 2 raised to the power 8, that means we'll you have to use 8 bits. We can also find this from this formula. L is 2 raised to the power n. From here we can write n is log 2 L. So n is log 2, 256, that is 8 bits per sample. Okay, so now we have found uh, the, the RA actual samples, 800 samples per second, and we know that each sample requires 8 bits. So total bits we can find, C is n into Rn, that is 8 number of bits into RA now in this case, 8000. So it is 64,000 bits. And now to find the channel capacity or find the bandwidth, we know that we have to simply divide 3 by 2. So the transmission bandwidth or the channel bandwidth is C over 2. C we calculate is 64,000 divided by 2. So 
तो 32 किलोहर्ट्ज इन दिस चैनल बैंडविड बट दिस इज फॉर वन सिग्नल ओनली द पार्ट बी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट इफ यू हैव 24 सच सिग्नल्स वेयर टाइम डिवन मल्टीप्लेक्स देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द टोटल चैनल बैंडविड सो प्राइमर यू कैन सी दिस पिक्चर we have 24 input signals and they are connected one at a time to the line so basically our uh, the requirement will be 24 times the uh, bits for one signal so for one signal we require 64000 bits so for 24 signals we require 24 into 6000 64000 bits that is 1.53 megabits per second so this will be the Uh, uh total signals that we have to send now we need to find the channel capacity so divide by 2 so we require minimum transmission bandwidth vt is 1.536 divided by 2 equals to 0.768 megahertz so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your feedback thank you